Hi. Hi. It's obviously a different day. I'm here on a different side. This is lesson five. Lesson five. Now this one, it's a three-parter. <laughs> Hang in there. Just, okay. just realize this. It's three pages, but it's kind of... It's real quick. These it's are what we mouse. call the... We affectionately call the shuns. Shun. The shuns. shuns. Uh, transportation. Shun. Electrification. Shun. Communication. Shun. 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 We have some good mnemonics for you. They're delicious today. Yes, they are. We have some delicious mnemonic Took devices. Took a lot of here. time to figure these out. Uh, the first one. First one is transportation. The mnemonic here would be Geico. Directed. So Henry Ford. Henry Ford invents the assembly line. Doesn't really invent it, but he makes good use of it. Uh, to to manufacture the Ford Model T car. And the Model T is a game changer. It changes everything. Uh, oh, prior to that, the car was a thing that existed, but it was for the wealthy. The innovation of the assembly line means that you can make them faster, which means you can make them cheaper, Perf. which means the price can be lower, lower, which means that now your workers can afford Ford. to buy a Ford, Ford, the Model T. And that's what changes things. Right. So now we have cars. What does that do? That's what this list is. The result of improved transportation. The improved transportation would be the Ford Model T car. And then? And what comes after? Mater. <laughs> uh -oh. This ain't gonna be good. Uh, Geico is the mnemonic here. First, uh, the G stands for greater mobility. 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 Moving. Moving around. They can move around. Yeah. They can get around the city. So greater mobility. That leads to the next thing, which would be uh, an escape from the cities to the suburbs. So we talked about the everything this year, the first half of the year, is pretty much the movement from rural to urban. Rural to urban. Now it's getting crowded. Agriculture to industry. Agriculture to industry, rural to herbal. Herbal. Rural to verbal. Verbal to verbal. Verbal to verbal. Rural to urban. Uh, but what's missed there, that where you live, maybe, I don't know who, where you actually are right now, but uh, many who now live in the suburbs, the suburbs begin to exist now because of that greater mobility. So now you can... Sub-urban. Suburban. Uh, Sub-Keith Urban. So greater mobility leads to an escape from the cities and the, the development of the sub-urban areas. Uh, the other big change has to do with uh, jobs. Jobs, 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 jobs. The industries related to cars grow, and that just means that there's more jobs now. So there was a time when you know many Americans, their their job, their employment was tied into cars, cars, tires. Yeah, that still is the case. Windshields, today. doorknobs, yeah, doors, seats, windshield wipers. Those blue lights in the bottom of my car. All that stuff. My fuzzy dice. The thing that makes your car go doom, doom, doom. I was trying to do like a panini press. It's kind of like my panini press in my glove compartment for my sandwiches. Nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, so, those jobs. Um, at the bottom Jones. of the page, we have a little little clip art doodle for you. But like the the three the three industries would be the oil industry. Mm -hmm. Like that changed everything for John Rockefeller. He was on the way out where oil was used for lighting, but now Edison invents the light bulb or his. Uh, yeah, because it is. What now do we do with this stuff we're throwing away? Put it in the car. So that the car changes the oil industry, and now the oil industry is one of the most uh, profitable industries in the world on the planet. There too, both places. On this world and the planet. Yeah. So the oil, uh, steel industry. Steel is tied into uh, the, the, the frames of the cars, constriction of the cars, so that only helps out uh, big Drew Carnegie. And uh, road construction, because... Gotta have roads. Yeah. Yeah. So those are, even today, those are still big industries uh, because of their connections to cars. Gas station. And uh, so the I is industries related to cars grow. That includes C, car jobs, like literally manufacturing the cars. That is a huge source of uh, employment in America. And the last one is uh, to remind you again of what those jobs are, oil, steel, and road construction. So. Ability, escape from cities to suburbs, the industries related to cars grow, car jobs are created, oil, steel, and road construction jobs. And to remember that, it's 
Us is rude. Exactly that. Okay. Now, turn the page. <laughs> this is still the shuns. This one's pretty quick, straightforward, and should make some sense. Uh, for this one, you gotta kind of turn it on its side. Uh, and write on there uh, the ways electrification changed American life. Uh, so ways electrification changed American life. And uh, kind of three. Yeah. One is, uh, well, the mnemonic here would be eel. The mnemonic here is eel. Because there are electric eels. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. We are brilliant. Actually, it was his, it? his idea. No, it was Yeah. So eel, uh, the first E is entertainment. Okay, I was brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Entertainment and improved communication. So we're going to see uh, the rise of the entertainment industry. There's no, no TV yet. Oh. No TV. Don't put that down. Anything. Are there cell phones? No. 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 There's uh, radio, movies. I guess telephones would be telephones would be fun communication, but uh, yeah, you have uh, entertainment, then we the radio, and you have uh, improved communication. So electricity means you now have entertainment and communication. Uh, also, lighting. It doesn't sound like a big deal. But dark. Ah! 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 Lightning strike. Electric lighting. Big change is the around the clock. Working. Industries you can work around the clock, not just nine to five. Not just rock around the clock. And the last one is labor-saving devices. Washing machines, stoves, water pumps, vacuum sweepers, Roombas. Here we go. So now the last one. This is we've already kind of been talking about this. We said that there are these communication changes. That's what electricity allows, and. Uh, improved communication and entertainment and that would be this page 53 so the things that are improved communication a big change in communication there's three of them and our mnemonic here is mr t i pay the fool uh i ain't flying no plane i ain't getting no more airplane and that's it i'm gonna forge new and wondrous things upside your head if you try to get me on the airplane they don't know mr it's t. an eight some of them know mr t i'm it's, pretty sure you do. it's sad he had a breakfast cereal I used to love that breakfast cereal. Did you? I did. I know Cool, and Cool's teaming up with a good balanced breakfast. Teaming up with Mr. T cereal. That's getting on the team. The team that knows how cool breakfast can be. You get a crispy corn taste with a touch of brown sugar. Teaming up with Mr. T. It's cool. Anyway, communication changes, Mr. T. Movies. Radio. I already talked about this. Telephone. Telephone invented by Alejandro. Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, uh, radio invented by Guillermo Marconi, movies invented by Thomas Edison, moving pictures. Yes. So the picture moves. They already invented pictures. Yeah. That was a that was a, a long ago thing on on caves. But on cave walls, they didn't move. So, no. moving pictures. And actually, one of the biggest movies uh, of this time period would be uh, Birth, of, Birth of a Nation. Oh. Both really nice movies. Birth of a Nation. Yeah. And Jet. Yeah. Uh, Birth of a Nation, responsible for the rise of the KKK. So, uh, there's that. By the end of the film, the Klan regain control of their town from the black oppressors. And on the next election day, they form a line to intimidate black voters and finally restore power. Despite the film's overall message of overt racism, it was still incredibly popular. It remained the highest grossing movie of all time until it was replaced by Gone with the Wind in 1939. It was even the first film to be shown in the White House to President Woodrow Wilson. On a technical level... King Kong. Radio. Radio dramas. Uh, starts off radio as just a means of communicating. Uh, if you're on a boat and the boat is sinking... You can say, we're done! We are sinking. We are sinking. What are you thinking about? Yes, that's well, that was the problem. Uh, actually, the Titanic had a uh, Marconi Radio. room. Yeah. So Guglielmo or Guillermo, Guglielmo, Guillermo, uh, Guillermo, Guillermo Marconi he invented it. It was used as a "We're sinking right now. Could you please come send?" And so more people would have died on the Titanic sinking if uh, they had not been able to call for help on that. But they also turned off the radio at the other place early. So they turned it off early, they missed the original signals, then they turned it on again, they got the original signals.
arrogant. I try and warn him about the ice and he tells me to shut up. And listen to that spark, he must be right on top of us. Well, that's it for me. I'm shutting down. That's it. Doom, doom, doom. NPC. Bye. Doom.